We have tons of chapter books at Usborne Books and More, including chapter books for young kids. Hey Jack and Billy B are next door neighbors. You can see that the font is large. There are not that many words on each page. There's lots of illustrations. They are a great introduction to chapter books for your kiddos. And there are no hyphens used in this book. And so that makes these books dyslexia friendly. For the next step up, we have the Fizz series all about a dog who really has dreams of being a detective. And no one believes in him, but he decides to believe in himself. And he does go on to make the police academy. Scurvy Dogs is a series of two books can be read in any order. And it's all about pet dogs who have big imaginations and they are very creative in coming Coming up with some of their adventures here. They are pretending that a shopping cart is a pirate ship and they are on a quest to find bones. If you have a kid who likes graphic novels, this is going to be a hit. Billy and the Mini Monsters is another really cute series all about mini monsters that Billy finds in his sock drawer and they get into all different kinds of predicaments as well. In this one, they are moving houses and the little monsters get lost and so Billy has to find them. Olivia's Secret Scribbles is about a little girl and she is keeping a diary. It's written in diary format. In this one, she's missing her best friend who just moved away. She's um, creating some new inventions. There's a new girl at school. Just general little girl stuff and really digestible and readable. Ella is Olivia's big sister and she has a diary of her own. And you can see these books are a little bit longer. They have more text, but still a lot of differentiated fonts and really cute illustrations. These books are also filled with lots of good morals. There are six books in the Pet Vet series, which is all about a dog who works at a pet vet clinic. In this book is lots of cute little maps and illustrations. There's also opportunities for kids to expand their vocabulary and learn new words. These books are all filled with good morals, taking care of sick animals, helping all of the patients patience and learning new things. Hotel Flamingo is a series of four books all about a hotel for animals that a little girl named Anna inherits. There's also a map at the beginning of each story so you can see the surroundings and what the characters are talking about. And these stories are about overcoming obstacles, working together, and finding solutions to problems, whether they are big or small. Magic has been outlawed in Silver City and Constantino needs to figure out a way around that. He is an illusionist and a magician. In the back of the book, it tells you about how to accomplish each illusion yourself at home. Ermine is a stoat and she has been sent on a trip around the world. She is told to create a scrapbook. And if you wanna make your own scrapbook, there's instructions on how to do that in the front. There's a map included and she visits Sydney. She visits London and she also visits New York City. And Ermine gets into all kinds of different predicaments. She goes to see all of the famous landmarks and she also ends up saving some people and solving some crimes and taking lots of pictures and making friends along the way. This is a thicker book. It's three books in one. This is a great read aloud, completely clean, appropriate to read to a child as young as three or four in short little doses, but also challenging for um, an older reader as well to read on their own. Double Felix is about a boy who is obsessed with the number two. So everything he does, he has to do twice. He skips every second step when he takes the stairs. He taps the door handle twice and he's able to overcome some of um, these things that he does by working with his school counselor. If you have a kid in your life who loves the outdoors, our Bear Grylls adventures are fantastic. These books are all about different adventures and surviving and thriving. It gives you some great outdoors tips included as well. If you have a child who has enjoyed Diary of a Wimpy Kid or Hotel Trans Pennsylvania, you'll have to check out Vlad, the world's worst vampire, because this is a really cute kind of a combination of the two books. Vlad is a vampire, but he really wants to be a human. He wants to go to a human school. And so he ends up doing that a really sweet story about getting along with others and working with your family and being the best person that you can be. Mary stumbles upon a meeting of former Nobel Prize winners, and they have discovered how to go back in time. She goes to the time where each one of them was making their discoveries and there's also a synopsis about each Nobel Prize winner after each chapter and there's
there's also an experiment that your kids can do at home uh, with the help of an adult to learn more about these prize winners. This is a story about unexpected friendship. Polly is a witch and Buster is a monster and they're not supposed to be friends. They need to keep their friendship a secret until they don't. Something big changes. So this story does have a little bit of bullying in it. Polly is being bullied and she is able to overcome that. So that's a great conversation starter as well to have with your kids.